morning. So I want to speak today about the, uh, the Bombardier approach to the system uh, operation and management in the cockpit uh, philosophy in the Bombardier uh, aircraft, uh, specifically on the uh, global platform, being you know the global 6000, 6500, or the 7500. And hence what I wanted to show is and, to, and discuss is a lot of manufacturers today, competition, while I'm putting my uh, sales hat over here, is the, uh, we're seeing a lot of introduction of touch screens and uh, the touch screen operation, especially on the overhead panel. So I was going to show how Bombardier is doing the operation here and how actually we've taken the approach of a, a dark overhead panel or a dark cockpit where most of the systems are working in a automation or automatic way and no, no uh, pilot uh, intervention is needed unless something wrong is going on. Otherwise, you know, in the other or competition we see where you need to actually select, you need to choose, you need to open those menus on the overhead panel to those touch screens. So I'm gonna show a bit now while we're in flight how the overhead panel works and how it's related to the aircraft systems. So here I'm gonna take And we look at the overhead panel and we can clearly see that the overhead panel is basically on system related. You know, we have the electrical system here, the fuel system, the engine, APU, the anti-ice, the uh, pack control, and the uh, windshield system and lighting system. So, as you can see, everything is just dark. There's, uh, everything is in a pressed out button position. Uh, or on, for example, the fuel system is on auto, the uh, bleed air conditioning system on auto, all of that is on auto. And if you were flying in an icing condition, you can also have those on auto. And, uh, for example, the fuel system is, uh, runs in a situation where, in case we have a fuel imbalance, automatically the airplane will transfer fuel from one side to the other. Uh, the electrical system, there's really not much to do. Uh, as, as soon as the aircraft engine is powered up, the, the aircraft generators turn on and they're automatically transferred from the APU when it's running. Same thing for the air conditioning system, the APU bleed and the, also the engine control bleed is also automatic. So transfer of bleed from the APU to the engine, engine back to the APU is all happening automatically as the system operation turns on. I'll show that on a different video. Uh, so again, the flying here, there's not much to be done across the whole flight. Is really no intervention. If I was to show how the system looks, and here I'm running a lamp test, turning on all the lights, so you can see that only if the light comes off, it means the system is off or has failed and give us an indication that something has gone wrong and we need to intervene or push it to turn it off. Otherwise, the system is always either on or uh, while it's black or turned on uh, while, you know, uh, it's not where it's working. So this is when you have all the global uh, balance transfer automatically done by the aircraft. As soon as it senses a fuel imbalance, here we have 13550, zero. It automatically does a transfer by itself because we have the wing fuel transfer on auto. So as soon as it senses an auto transfer, it does the job by itself. If you were to manually do it and need to do it, you just toggle the knob this way. And then that goes into a manual mode in case you want to do it. It goes into white color to say that it's doing it manually because of our input. Otherwise, you keep it on auto and it doesn't transfer by itself. 